I, you know what? I took I took a year and a half off before mm -hmm. I started back or went to WWE. Mm -hmm. uh, so my neck was completely healed. Oh, okay. um, that wasn't that wasn't an issue. Uh, but you know, I I ended up breaking my neck four more times in WWE. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's when the painkillers started, and yeah. you know the drinking and sure. everything. So. It was, you know, I got introduced to painkillers the second time I broke my neck, which was the first time in WWE, was in 2003. And I was introduced to painkillers by a doctor. And I, I loved it. Uh, the second I took it, I, I was hooked. Um, you know, I, I would take one every four or six hours. And after a few weeks, that didn't work. So I doubled it to two. Then I doubled it to four. Then doubled it to eight. And as time moved on, I, I got myself in such a huge ditch. I was taking 65 extra strength like it in a day. And uh, I, it, it was an expensive drug habit. Uh, it was, you know, I was, I was spending a lot of money uh, getting these. And I, uh, you know, I, I struggled quite a bit. So um, I, I didn't get it under control till I left the WWE in 2006. And uh, I, I got my painkiller problem at least um, under control where I was taking um, morphine sulfate, one pill twice a day. Mm -hmm. uh, the only problem was I ended up going to a smaller company so I could work part time instead of being full time in WWE. And uh, I started everybody there drank, <laughs> drank alcohol. <laughs> so. Sure. Um, you know, when I started, I, I started drinking with them and my, my addiction went from, you know, one thing to another, from painkillers to alcohol. And then I started taking Xanax because I had um, a lot of, um, uh, I was very nervous about my neck. I mean, I did break it five times. Sure. Totally. Yeah. So. I, uh, you know, I was having uh, a lot of anxiety and I wanted to, uh, you know, the doctor told me to take the Xanax. And so I, I started mixing alcohol with Xanax. And before you knew it, I, you know, I would say in five years in TNA, I, I got four DUIs. I was out of control. I uh, didn't, you know, didn't have, didn't take any responsibility um, my wife told me, you know, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to leave you unless you go to rehab. And I, I was going to lose my family and, uh, and my job. And I didn't want that to happen. So I checked into rehab in 2013 and uh, I've been clean ever since.